And what's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Cheap Ludes. And I'm here with another tier list. You heard that right, another one. Um, we are doing the top small forwards in NBA 2K21 and ranking them all according to tier. So before we get started, please like, um, please comment down below what you think of the tier list, which I know a lot of you will not like it and you will hate on me for some sort of personal slight you feel because I ranked your favorite card too low. I appreciate that. Come through and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Other than that, let's get started. Obviously, you know the ranking system, S tier, God level cards, A tier, extremely good cards, B tier, more than usable guys that are pretty good under any circumstance, C tier, specialist cards are good at like one or two things. Other than that, not great. D tier cards, they're good under the right circumstances, but for the most part and for the most of the player base you could probably you know find better options and f tier i recommend not using them at all at this stage so we'll start out with a guy who pretty much embodies c tier which is karan butler he's not really wonderfully great in anything but he's pretty good at almost everything in the game there's guys who do everything that he does better um but he's still incredibly good can't knock him for anything i can't praise him for anything he's just like a pretty good card mike miller very good card as well i'll throw him in c tier also comes standard with like silver range and stuff pretty elite jump shot um if you were among the two two percent of the player base basically that got this card awesome he's one of the most rare cards in the game not a whole lot of people got him because he was in the middle row of tto if you got him cool use him he's actually a really good card he plays a little bit of defense too so we got our first member of B tier here, my man Chuck Person. Uh, the reward cards this year have actually been pretty good, and Chuck Person is actually a really good example of that. If you have him, he's a really good small forward. Um, surprisingly, he plays defense really well. He booms super hard. He can shoot a little bit. He's basically a better version of Cron Butler. Steven Jackson, C tier, budget goat. One of the best ruby cards in this game, bar none, hands down. Um, can't praise this card enough. I've made like 18 videos where I hype this card up, so I'm not going to sit here and hype it for very long. Our first resident of S tier, and this really hurts my soul as somebody raised to hate the Duke Blue Devils and Grant Hill specifically, but Grant Hill is an S tier small forward at this stage in the game. He is arguably the most complete small forward available. Um, he can do everything. He rim runs well. He plays exceptional defense. He can shoot the lights out he does pretty much everything he can facilitate play make um you can operate with him off ball you can operate with him on ball you can do everything with this card adding this card to your team instantly makes it better if that's not s tier honestly i don't know what is um richard jefferson he's decent he's just a little bit outdated at this point in the game i think um to be completely honest week one he was like my favorite card but now I would use all three of these guys over him. Also cost efficient, like Steven Jackson's a lot better. Richard Jefferson's kind of expensive, so. Tyreek Evans, B tier. He's really good. Um, he might move up to A tier depending how I feel later on, but I think he's better than Chuck Person, but they're probably around the same tier. Um, same with the next guy, Latrell Sprewell. He's right there too. All three of these guys deserve to be kind of right next to each other. That's just me though. Um, if you have a different opinion on it, let me know in the comments down below, and we'll chat from there. Corey Maggette, um, very similar to Crom Butler, better in a few things, worse in a few others, just kind of there. If you like using him, cool. Um, nothing really crazy good or crazy bad to say about this card, he's okay. Our first resident of A tier, Dominique Wilkins. Shout out to the dude who jumps in the comments all the time and uh, tells me that every shooting guard I review is worse than Dominique. I appreciate you. That's super funny every time you do it. Um, that being said, yeah, he's A tier, dude. He's super good. Um, there's guys I like better than him personally, but I can't deny that the card itself is really good. So, Joe Smith. Joe Smith, he's actually kind of a slept on amethyst in this game. That being said, he is D tier. Like, he's. He's okay. I can't really say he's that great. Um, Glenn Rice, C. He's very similar to Steven Jackson. He doesn't have base 98 this year. If he did, he'd probably go up to B tier because he'd just have a faster, easier-to-time jump shot. 
that being said, his jump shot's actually pretty decent, so it's not that big of a deal. My man Jamal Hashburn. See, he's okay. He he plays well. Um, he can shoot a little bit. He does pretty much everything pretty well. Um, I wish he could shoot a little bit better and handle the ball a little better, but that's why he's in C tier. He rim runs really well. He rebounds pretty decent. He's another embodiment of C tier. Jamal Wilkes. It kind of hurts, man, but at this stage in the game, you got to go aft here. If I was ranking Sapphires, my man would be a B or A tiered Sapphire, but just in small forward in general, or even if he was in shooting guard, he probably would have been up at C or D tier, but there's just no point to using Jamal Wilkes at this stage in the game the way the game is played now. So Evan Turner is D. He's okay. I mean, I, I'm, if you wanted an in-depth expose on the seven Turner card, like, I don't have one. He's just okay. He, like, he's all right. Elgin Baylor. See, I don't... I've used him, like, a couple times. I don't have him unlocked on my account just because grinding through domination just seems like a pain right now. But he's okay. He's just small at the small forward position, and his stats really aren't that great at this stage. So, Tony Kukoc. D. He's all right. He lacks some key badges. He's kind of slow. He can't handle the ball at all. 6'10", though. He's got good size, good shooting ability, but I'd take all of these guys over him. Danny Granger. Yep. Everything I said about Tony Kukoc goes double for Danny Granger, but he's just better at all those things. So, uh, Yeah, LeBron's tough to rank. I never got a chance to use this card. He's one of the rarest cards in the game. Um, but I'd say he's probably A tier. Just because he's LeBron. Um, yeah, he's probably A tier. He's he's better than... No, rim running ability alone, this dude's probably ridiculously fake. I'm going to throw him in S tier. Um, just thinking back to using the diamond card that I've been using all year. Because I've been using a diamond LeBron for a pretty good portion of the year. And... That card is still kind of unstoppable to this day to a certain extent. I can't imagine what this one's like with gold quick first step and a lot of other badges addition to it. Yeah, he's probably ridiculous. Purvis Short. D, he's okay. Still use all these guys over him, but... Josh Jackson. Sorry, buddy, I like this card a lot, but... I <laughs> Yeah, I like this card actually quite a bit, but it's like I can't sit here and say that he's better than any of... You know what? No, he's not that much better than Jamal Wilkes, um, if he even is. Just kind of depends. Kelly Trapuka, D. He can shoot a little bit. I'll give him that. That's about all he can do, but he can shoot a little bit. James Worthy. He's tough. I don't like him at small forward. I like him at power forward. But you can't deny the size, and he's got a pretty elite jump shot. Um, I think it'd be foolish to say that these guys are better than him right now. So I'll put him at A tier. He's he's pretty good. Darius Miles, B tier. He's really good. No one's going to like agree with me, I swear, because this card has been like hated on since the minute it came out. I'm just a big Darius Miles fan, so maybe it's just me, but this card works really well for me. He's like a budget Giannis, basically, if you equip the right badges. Uh, Jimmy Butler. Uh, you gotta put the work in for him so like you're gonna have to apply the correct badges to him and you know spend a little mt applying badges but he does become a really good card um his hot zones are a little weak so that situation kind of sucks he only has an 80 driving dunk but he does dunk hard um 83 three-pointer which is pretty solid he has a lot of finishing badges and he does come with like flexible and difficult shots um you can give him a range extender as well, which is why I'm putting him up there. He has, like, gold space crater and stuff and all the defensive badges. So he's a 3 and D cone. He's a very good one at that. So Joe Ingles, D. He's really not that good. <laughs> it's just, he's just there. Paul George. Yeah, he's probably one of the best 3 and D cones in this game. Um, Paul George is really good. Uh, really easy to time jump shot. Plays great defense. You can add pretty good badges to him. Um, yeah, he's just all around really good. I would say that he's not... He's better than Darius Miles. Giannis. A tier. Sorry, buddy, but you, he can't shoot. Like, yeah, you'll get guys who can hit corner threes with him occasionally, but at the same time, like, most guys can't. 
and most people you play cannot hit three-point shot or you know three-pointers consistently in the corner with them you'll get guys that can but like it's very rare so you can't put him in s tier based on that but Giannis is one of the most annoying cards to stop from driving to the basket but i can't say he's better than this lebron this lebron's ridiculous paul pierce a he's all right he was really really good at the beginning of the year um i think he's still a pretty good card but for right now i'll leave him at a tier yeah, you can you can topple him. Larry Kanan. Larry Kanan's pretty good, but I'll put him in D tier. He just he can't shoot, and he doesn't have like very good defensive badges. Um, but he dunks so hard. I'll still leave him here for now. There's not very many F tier cards, so. Scotty. Scotty plays elite level defense, but can't really do anything else. Um, you know what? Is he better than Larry Kanan? No, they deserve to be kind of right right next to each other. To be completely honest with you. Uh, Julius Irving. A tier. Yeah. He does everything pretty well. Him being on your team makes it better. He's about as good as Dominique. So. Kawhi Leonard. Yeah. He's a Sapphire. As much as I like this card in the Sapphire tier, he's really not good. Um, as far as like a card goes, I wish he I wish he played a little bit more defense and stuff, but can't have everything. Bruce Bowen's a pretty good three and D guy. Um, whereas Scottie Pippen only plays D and rims or like runs rim. Bruce Bowen can do a little bit more, but they deserve to be on like the same tier. Uh, Rolando, yeah, C tier. He's he's okay. Put him right next to Elgin Baylor. Not much I can do there. Xavier McDaniel's pretty good, but D tier. He's good. He's a 2K animation god. Like, he's really good in 2K, but he's a Sapphire card. He's probably one of the best of them as far as, like, small forwards go, but I don't think he's really that great. Brent Barry, D. No defense, shoot threes. Like, that's that's it. Um, the only reason he's on the same par as Tony Kukoc, because he is better than Tony Kukoc, is Kukoc is 6'10 with a long wingspan. So, I mean... Yeah, I'm dropping Joe Ingles. I hate Joe Ingles, dude. <laughs> Some people, somebody's gonna get mad about this, but I, what do you want from me, dude? He's not that good. I got two pure shooters over here that can't play defense that are better than him. That screams F tier. Sean Elliott. I really wanted Sean Elliott to be good too, man. But they did him so dirty with his badge situation that it's like you can't apply that many badges to him, and the ones that you can are like not that good. Um, they only gave him nine gold badges to start and he's oh man it sucks because he's like such a good card normally he has like no hot zones um yeah they gave him nine gold badges all shooting badges i will say um but you can't give him flexible release you can't give him difficult shots you can't give him range um he has gold steady you can't really give him any playmaking badges you can't give him any defensive badges um and zero finishing badges like sean they did sean elliott so dirty it sucks because i like this card a lot but he has a 92 three-pointer so uh yeah i mean that's not like i can hate he's about brent barry tony kukos level so lamar odom c tier he really pisses me off and he's super expensive that sucks i was really excited i like lamar odom I love mid-2000s combo forwards like Lamar Odom, Darius Miles, the GOAT, Stro Miles Swift, Sharif Abdul-Rahim, all those guys, big fans, but unfortunately they did him super dirty. I was so excited when this card came out. Paul Pressey, he's awful. <laughs> like, legitimately, there's not very many things he does well, and you'll... I can almost guarantee you'll almost never run into this guy while playing this game for a reason. Um, Andre Iguodala... Iggy's a good defensive card, and that is it. He can shoot a little bit, and he can facilitate. That's the reason he's in D. He does one or two things very well. Other than that, he doesn't. Kawhi Leonard, great 3 and D card. Absolutely astounding how good this card is. I mean, it's Kawhi Leonard, and you can pick him up for 50, 60K. Andrew Wiggins, C tier. <laughs> he deserves to go right next to Glenn Rice and Steven Jackson, elite level budget cards. Uh, we don't have very many cards left, but Keith Van Horn, worst version. Well, yeah, he's like a worse version of Tony Kukoc, D tier, whatever. 
Robert Reed is a worse version of Andre Gudala. Not a huge fan. Bad. Kevin Durant, B. He's okay. Larry Bird, B. Once again, these guys do a little bit more than Larry Bird. He is a lights-out shooter, though, and still a usable card in this game. I still use him from time to time. Uh, Detlef Shrimp. He's A. He's actually really, really good. Uh, Bernard King, C. He's okay. I mean, he just kind of exists at this point. Lou Hudson, C as well. He's a little small to play small forward, but he plays decent. LeBron James, B tier. This LeBron is B tier, but still an incredibly good card, legitimately. Uh, Mark Aguirre, D. I don't like him at all, but I've never been a fan of Mark Aguirre in game. I almost said Mark Aguirre. Mark Aguirre in game. So it's one of those things. Mike Dunleavy. Now he's D tier. Can he play? Can he get clamps? That's huge. Like if he can get clamps, he's he's the elite white guy three pointer. Like let me let me see what's up. Um, because he does have a good jump shot. I like it actually a lot. He's got good hot zones as well. And yeah, he can get clamps. I forgot about that. Yeah, Mike Dunleavy C tier <laughs> for for sure. Um, just because you can put some defensive badges on him and he can dunk a little bit too. Um, shout out to Mike Dunleavy, dude. Peja Stojakovic. No, he's a worse Larry Bird. I'm sorry. And he's not worth the price. This card just angers me, so there's a lot of reasons for that. Um, Sean Marion. D. He's a good three. Not even a three and D player. Just a D player. He's a good defensive player. He can run rim a little bit, but it's like that's all he can do. Um, Reggie Williams. He's got good size and a couple good attributes. He can run, run rim a little bit and shoot just a tiny bit from mid-range. Um, he's better than the cards in F tier, but at the same time, like I'm not going to recommend you go out and get Reggie Williams to use in-game. He's not that good. And Vince Carter. <sighs> I got to say this Vince Carter is S tier, man. Um, I almost regret... Dude, it's at the point where I almost regret selling this card for 800k. That's how good this card was when it came out. Um, when I used this card, I don't know, maybe I was just having a good night. He's one of the rarest cards in the game, but he was absolutely unstoppable. He shoots. He literally dunks over everybody. He plays good defense. He intercepts the ball at an absurdly high rate for some reason. I don't know what that's all about. He's almost unstoppable when it comes to lobs. Um, yeah, this card can take over an entire game and change the landscape of a whole game by just being involved. So I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe you guys think he deserves some be somewhere else. If you guys think a card deserves to be uh, either raised or lowered, let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure I'll get at least five down votes because I always do on these videos. So it's all good. Um, anyways, please like, comment, subscribe. Like I said... Um, go check out my podcast, Will This Ever End? If you want more video game takes, I'm, we're talking about Silent Hill right now. I'm going to go check that out. That's cool. Hit up the Patreon if you want to donate. Um, you get access to both Patreons uh, for subscribing to one. That's cool. Um, check me out on Twitch when I go live, usually on pack day. So Tuesdays and Fridays, I'll probably do some streams in between those um, randomly throughout the week as well. And I'll make sure to keep a heads up in my YouTube videos when I do that. So other than that, Thank you for watching the video. I appreciate you guys and subscribe to the channel. Peace.